I, I'm a little unclear about New York, New York City schools. The other day you said, this is the city's decision, they have an agreement at 3%. Today you said, well, I might have to impose an orange zone and I might have to close the schools, which an orange zone does. So what's going on? Does the city still have the ability to close its schools? Are you now taking control and saying that you have the power to make this decision? And for the millions of parents who want to know, are the schools going to open tomorrow in New York City? All right. First of all, let's try not to be obnoxious and offensive in your tone because you're 100% wrong. These laws have all been in effect for months. I've always said, we set initial parameters, and then the school district picked a percent within those parameters. New York City picked 3%. We announced the orange zone law over a month ago. I don't know if you were here or if you were paying attention. But that has been in effect for over a month. It always said, if by the state's numbers you hit 3%, the schools close. What's going on here is nothing that the law hasn't said for over a month. We then had the test out procedures. If you were paying attention, you would have known we closed the schools in New York City two weeks ago. Remember when we did an orange zone and a red zone in Brooklyn and Queens and we closed the schools? Don't you remember that? It was three weeks ago. Okay, so don't you, so what are you talking about? How, what are you talking about? You're now gonna override. We did it already. That's the law, an orange zone and a red zone. Follow the facts. I'm still confused. Well, then you're confused. I'm confused. And then I'll tell you what, Jimmy. Still, parents are still confused as well. The schools no, in they're not confused. Tomorrow. You're confused. No, I think but parents read the are law. very confused as well. Read the law, and you won't be confused. But, Governor, but Go ahead. follow Jimmy's question. Are the schools going to be open tomorrow? The schools are open by state law. But will they be open tomorrow? That's the question. I think Jimmy's correct in, in asking that question. I don't think it's obnoxious at all. Well, I don't really care what you think. Uh, of course, you agree with him because you're in the same business with him. The schools, by state law, well, what is the answer to your question? Well, I guess I, the, what is the answer to your question? I don't know what the answer is. I'm yes, you do. Clear. You, you said when does the state close the schools? When you get to an orange zone, which you're suggesting could happen, but is not necessarily happening by tomorrow. So then what are you asking? You just so, answered your own question. The other but, week but you said, hand, excuse hand, me. But on one hand, you have granted Bill de Blasio the kind of oversight of his schools. And there are rumors that, that the number in New York City will rise about 3%, which would trigger closing of schools. Now, you have just said that an orange zone could be in the offering for the entirety of New York City, which would also close schools, but your number is 2.5. So I guess just the point blank question is, are schools going to be open tomorrow in New York Let's City? Let's do it again for you. Because maybe gets confusing over the days and nights. Uh, schools set their own, school, 700 school districts. They all set their own number. That's the number. Unless they fall into a microcluster. The microcluster overrides the local rules. Yellow, orange, red. If it's Buffalo, I don't even know the Buffalo closing number for schools. But the Buffalo schools close in that orange zone, right? Why? Because it's an orange zone and it's over 3%. Well, maybe Buffalo had a rule of 4% or 5% or 6%. I don't know. doesn't matter. If it goes over 3% in an orange zone, because now it's saying the decision isn't just about a school. It's about a school in an intensely infected community. 
with a family that's infected and a candy store that has a high infection rate on a bus route that has a high infection rate. So the microclusters override the normal locally set school infection rate. Why didn't you close the schools in Erie right? County Excuse last me. week? You were over 3%. Excuse me. Right? I, I understand the state law overrides the, the, the city's decision making on this. I don't and, no, 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 not city. Any local school district, so it just happened in Buffalo, any local school district in a microcluster zone, because that's now a highly infected zone. The schools can remain open in an orange zone, but they have to do additional testing. Understood. D on a larger point, when you're talking about microclusters, those are obviously supposed to be kind of limited geographic areas. New York City is obviously not a, a, a limited geographic area, nor is it a limited population center. How would that qualify as a microcluster? Why is that not just a microcluster? Is not spatially defined. Microcluster was as opposed to statewide action or, or regional but action. But is that not a region? New York City with nine no, people in it? No, Long Island and Westchester would be within the region. So microcluster was, I guess your point about the connotation of micro. Well, because you, you said that there are 10 regions in the state, and one of those regions is New York City. So if you're going to shut New York City down to an extent with lesser restrictions under an orange zone, that is it by ipso facto a regional shutdown, is well, it not? Yeah, but the micro is to distinguish from statewide or normally region-wide. So Erie is not, we're not doing all of Western New York. It's a micro zone. We're not doing Chautauqua. We're not doing Cataragas, et cetera.